We are here with our one rising artist of the month, Kennedy. Hi. Well, all the way from Sweden. All the way from Sweden. But you've been in LA for since 2015. Yes. I actually studied acting here first. Okay. When I came at Lee's Rosberg, and then I started getting get into music. And more you did modeling more. too. I modeled for many years too, since I was a kid, since I was a kid actually. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about the choice of using the two threes in your name. Was there was there a reason for that, or is there like meaning behind that, or is it just because it looks cool? Because that's an answer too. Um, there's a little bit of everything. Okay. There was a name issue um, when I trademarked my name. Um, but also, we go in for this like futuristic right. world. So I've been building up this K3 world, really. And since we're using AI and everything, there are all this element that just makes sense. Take me into that world. What is that world for you? Like, what is Kennedy's world? Because I've seen it, you know, obviously posting it to promote your music on social media and stuff. But what is your vision for that? The vision is kind of like um, cyberpunk, vaporwave vintage futuristic world if you see like my instagram and stuff you will see the kind of like color schemes and stuff like that but he has like a very um spacey but earth i don't even know how to explain it right. like you kind of have to like get into it and see it but those are like the elements in it but was this your vision like that came to you did this come before the music or like um, after the music I always been like a visionary. Yeah. So I often, even when I write and create things, I see it. Like if I can see it, I can do it. I love that. So that's kind of like how it happened. That's manifesting at its best. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. Um, so that's kind of like how it all came together. So I don't know. I've, I've always loved those color schemes. Like I always wear those colors. I mean, today I'm wearing all black, but yeah. normally I do. <laughs> can you tease talking about sort of the AI stuff that you said you were you're I mean, I'm really into like the whole like cyber, cyberpunk. Um, so I would like to build stories also with my music and with the videos of this world. Right. You know, I imagine everything happening in my Kennedy world. Right. Basically. Well, let's talk about your single bounce back, which is climbing the charts. It is. It does. <laughs> She's so humble over here. <laughs> you know, I love the concept behind the song. It's about bouncing back from hard times. Uh, but tell, talk to me about the creating of that song and what you wanted people to get away from it. So I created it during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. <laughs> right. I mean, everybody was going through a hard time, including myself and... But not only just the COVID, for me, it was more than just that. It was about bounce, like bouncing back from anything, right? you know, from injuries or from not believing in yourself or stepping into your true self or whatever it might be. So for me, that was like, I feel this and I hope that other people will feel that as well. Right. You know, what's been your biggest bounce back story? The biggest bounce, honestly, it was really to believe in myself, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm coming from a place where people are very medium yeah you know like Sweden is very so that you know we're great people but we're very medium <laughs> when you say, like what do you mean by medium do you mean it's like don't like, stand out too right, much right. don't be like too loud too big right um so for me that was kind of like growing up I didn't feel like I had like that support in like my artistry because I was already doing stuff when I was a kid right you know I, I wrote shows and I sang for my parents every night and whoever I could perform in front of um so that was probably my biggest bounce back to like take the step to actually move from Sweden straight to LA and never visited here before. And then just, you know, do it. You're like, you guys be medium, I'm gonna be large. Yes. <laughs> Don't mind me over here. I am so extra, I swear. <laughs> when you go back to Sweden, do you, cause I can relate to this a lot, just being from the Midwest, it's very similar. When you go back to Sweden, do you feel like you dial yourself back? Like even in like your wardrobe or are you at a place right now where you don't? I don't. You don't. Good. Mm -mm. Good. I love that. Yeah, I'm full me, you yes. know. <laughs> How's your family and friends back home? What do they think about you being here? And no, they're very proud. They definitely. I have a lot of just like. Uh, support and friends and family over there so they're sharing me on and they've been sharing the song and they've been definitely doing some work in my hometown and 
in Sweden in general since we went number one in right. Sweden. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. How, how was it feel? How was it seeing that? Like, where were you when you saw it climb the charts? I mean, you know, we were hoping to like go top hundred, you know, at least get on the charts. Right. And then we're like, all right, well, let's see if we can do like top twenty. We're like, all right, you know what? If we do top twenty. I'm happy. Yeah, right. You know, I'm happy. But then we climbed and we climbed and then we went number one. I will say, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> um, but I'm very proud and right. I'm very excited for sure. What's your plan moving forward? Do you have any other new music coming out, a new album? Like, what are you working on? We have a lot of things coming. <laughs> um, we definitely have more singles coming. Um, I mean, I have probably two projects is already done. So we kind of just like, you know, moving with the momentum but it's definitely a lot of exciting things coming up what do you want fans to take away from being a fan of you well i hope that they will enjoy my world definitely and i hope that they can grow with me you know and um if they feel what i'm feeling when i'm making this then i'm happy okay. you know and i really want people to believe in themselves and believe in the things that they've got going on and you know, there is no limits, really. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can really do anything you put your mind up. Right. You just have to manifest. Manifest it. Be large. <laughs> be, be large, large people. <laughs> be large. Be extra. You know, all that. <laughs> What's one thing about you that you think people would be surprised to know? I'm a creative person in general, so yeah. I like sew my costumes. That's that's a very so that's something. Fact. So that's something that I do. I like to see the vision because before, I, as I said, like before I even make a song, I see it. And I see like the colors and the elements of the music, and then I like to like make a costume for it. That's great. So for my top favorite song, I actually created like a costume from scratch, wow. and I recently got a sewing machine. Before I said with like by hand. You're like really fully in it from yeah every stitch on the yeah. costume to the release to the music videos, which is the visionary visionary artists are my favorite artists. So I I, I am so excited for what you're doing. Hey, thank you. What is your go-to comfort food? Um, anything with pasta will do. Oh yes, Bring I'm a cars. big pasta person. What's your sauce of choice? Um, red sauce. Okay, but with a lot of cheese. Yum. What's one thing you wish you were better at? Um, patience. Oh, <laughs> patience. True. True. What do you miss most about Sweden? The summer. It's so magical being in Sweden during the summer mm -hmm. and the midsummer festivities. How about your most prized possession? Uh, it's actually a little angel that my mom gave me. Okay, like a little statue? Yes, yeah, a little statue that I have in my bedroom. Aww. Yeah, I care, like all the places I ever lived at, I always have that one with me. Oh, that's a sweet little good luck charm. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do on a day off? <sighs> Relax. Yes. Yeah, I would like to take a walk. I like to be active. Mm -hmm. I like to go for hikes or I like to go see things, really. Yeah, good. You know, I walk by foot like I don't even like drive many places I like to walk around I think that's a Swedish trick to, to do <laughs> yeah people in LA are not that good at that <laughs> yeah I know I wish they were Tra it would help with traffic a little it bit would but help traffic. <laughs> um, and lastly what is like your quote to live by be you yes I even have a tattoo that says so um, you know that's the best version you can be you know yes. that's you be you be you be large <laughs> love that yeah